And now it's 636 and historic South Bend buildings demolished decades ago are getting new life and being recreated in miniature version. The project is a collaboration between Notre Dame's Architectural Library as well as the Historic Preservation Commission and the History Museum. WSBT 22's Kristen Bean joins us now in the studio. And Kristen, the idea is really to give the city an idea of what it looked like back in the 20s and 30s. Yeah, that's right. Before the years of urban renewal in the 60s and 70s when many historic buildings were torn down. The entire thing will be on display in May for South Bend's 150th celebration. It's a project that's been four years in the making. This blank space, this parking lot behind the Morris Performing Arts Center, used to be something beautiful. Gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, it's this, so this would have been uh, the old city hall, and this city hall would have been at the corner of Colfax and Maine. The building was built in the 1900s on land donated by the Oliver family, but it was torn down in the late 70s. Now, thanks to a project taking shape here at Notre Dame's Architectural Library, the old city hall and other lost downtown South Bend buildings are getting new life. One of the goals of this project is not only to understand the history and to see what we lost, um, but to really look at, give people options and models to do um, more sympathetic design for downtown South Bend as we move forward. Students and faculty here are using old photographs, blueprints, maps, and other information. This photo uh, we received from the History Museum. They put that in a computer to meticulously build the buildings that used to sit along Main Street between LaSalle and Washington. You can zoom in on individual pieces. Then they send that information to a 3D printer where a model is made. It's been going for 22 hours and we have 29 hours left on this and we'll have another city hall. By May, the team will have recreated about 40 buildings, including this row of shops and the Oliver Opera House, which used to sit alongside the JMS building. The hope is, while many of these old buildings may be long gone, they won't be forgotten. I think the importance for understanding the history of South Bend leads to building a better South Bend in the future. And this is one of the buildings they'll be recreating. This is 103 West Main Street. It was part of a row of buildings and stores because at one time, South Bend was a destination. People from Chicago would come here to go to the yeah. opera and shop. Yeah, now, Kristen, probably. this project includes more than 3D miniatures. That's right. Uh, it also includes a website that will show all the historic neighborhoods of South Bend, a mobile app for the iPad with old photos and maps so you can take like a tour on your iPad. Um, and also, viewers, uh, people can go and do what's called a virtual animation, mm -hmm. and they can actually wander the streets of South Bend wearing these goggles. They're like 3D yeah. virtual animation goggles, and you literally can look around and walk the streets of South Bend. I tried it. It was super cool. Yeah. All this debuts uh, in May for South Bend's 150th celebration. Kind of like a cool. Google Street View right now. Yeah, except way cooler <laughs> because you're like yeah. there looking around. Yeah. yeah. It's so neat. Very All neat. Right. Neat story. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Kristen.